Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're okay. I hope that you um, finish reading the chapter because it has a pretty, a pretty nice ending. I like the ending of the chapter. So now I will give you uh, some questions that you have to send me um, through your platform on Friday. Remember the instructions that I'm going to give you because then you have complaints, but you haven't read the instructions correctly. Um, the questions should be done in your notebook. The name of the work is going to be um, Divergent Guide. The questions are going to be written with a pen in cursive and the answer with a pencil in print. Um, all the answers are going to be complete answers. So if I ask what day is today, you have to write today is... If I write, what is the reason that the tundra biomes are so high in altitude? Then your answer would be, the reason the tundra biomes are so high in altitude is... So you are going to answer in complete sentences, otherwise your answer is incorrect and I won't give you the points. Okay, so we are going to start by chapter 15. Um, so I'm going to give you the questions in the following way. Um, where's my pen? Oh, here. Um, I will tell you from chapter 15 and then from, you are going to write from chapter 15 period and in the next line you are going to write the question obviously all this in cursive with a pen and then you are going to answer in complete sentences with a pencil based on the chapter that I give you okay Mm, question oh so from chapter 15 question number one right in there from chapter 15 question number one okay why does eric congratulate trish he tells her, you did well yesterday. Question number one from chapter 15. Why does Eric congratulate Trish? Remember that you can uh, activate the closed captions or the subtitles in the bottom of the page. And in there, uh, you can read whatever I'm saying, okay? Okay, so why does Eric congratulate Trish? So your answer would be, Eric congratulates Trish because, and then you tell me the reason. Number two, chapter 15. What did Trish do to be congratulated? From chapter 15, question number two. What did Trish do to be congratulated? So the answer would be, what Trish did is and then you're going to write it. Question number three from chapter 15. Question number two from chapter 15. Chapter 15, it's a, a very special day for Dauntless. What day is it? Chapter 15 is a very special day from Dauntless. What day is it? From chapter 15, period, apart. Chapter 15 is a very special day for Dauntless. What day is it? Period. Number three. Oh, wait, number four. Number uh, four from chapter 15. Why is Beatrice's mother the only one who visit her? Why is Beatrice's mother the only one who visits her? From chapter 15, question number four. Why is Beatrice's mother the only one who visits her? Question number five. 
from chapter 15. Um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> I re I mean, I read the, the, the paragraphs and then I found the answers. Oh, question number five. Yeah, I guess, right? If not, it's going to be 11. It's whatever. Um, question number five from chapter 15. Who is Kara, C-A-R-A, -A, from chapter 15? Who is Kara and why is she rude to Beatrice's mother? Who is Kara and why is she rude to Beatrice's mother? From chapter 15, question number five. Who is Kara and why is she rude to Beatrice's mother? Number six, from chapter 15, why does Beatrice's mother know a lot about the Dantless faction? From chapter 15, question number six, why does Beatrice's mother know a lot about the Dantless faction? From chapter 15, question number seven, What is Beatrice's mother recommendation for her? What is Beatrice's mother recommendation for her? From chapter 15, question number 7. What is Beatrice's mother recommendation for her? Question number eight. From chapter 15, question number eight. What does Beatrice realize at the end of the chapter? From, from chapter 15, question number eight. What does Beatrice realize at the end of the chapter? Comma. Give three reasons how. Give three reasons how. So at the end of chapter 15, she realizes one thing. And then you have to say, at the end of chapter 15, Beatrice realizes that her... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are the three reasons she realizes. One, two, three. Okay? Remember that these questions are later included in your assessment. So you better find the answers. From chapter 16... Question number nine. From chapter 16, sorry, from chapter, from chapter 16, question number nine. What does Al tell Beatrice when they are alone in their room? What does Al tell Beatrice when they are alone in their room? It's something very embarrassing. So that's my cue. It's something super embarrassing. From chapter 16, question number 9, what does Al tell Beatrice when they are alone in their room? Question 
question number nine. After this, uh, sorry, from chapter 16, question number 10. From chapter 16, question number 10. From chapter 16, question number 10. What is something everybody has to do in the test that Beatrice didn't? What is something that everybody had to do in the test, in the test to be dauntless, that Vitris didn't? You should remember. And th there's a conversation between uh, Christina and I think it's Will. And they're talking about what are the things that they had to do to be dauntless. And Christina says, uh, dogs are sort of ruined for me after, you know, after the aptitude test. We exchange looks, and then she remembers, I hear Tori's warning, and now my mother's warning. Do not tell anyone. Dangerous. Now, she didn't do what Christina did in the aptitude test. What is it? From chapter 16, question 11. Question number, uh, from chapter 16, question number 11. What is the reason Trish gives to Christina for choosing Dauntless? From chapter 16, question 11. What is the reason Christine, uh, Trish gives Christina for choosing Dauntless? It's a lie. That's everything that I'm going to tell you. And it's something super dumb and I would do it too. Question number 12. From chapter 16, question number 12. Why are B3 ranks so low? Why are B3 ranks so low? Why are B3 ranks so low? Remember, complete answers. B3 ranks are very low because... Question number 13, I guess. Question number 13. From chapter 16, question number 13. In the middle of the night, Trish hears a lot of screaming. Coma. What happened to Edward? What happened to Edward? What happened to Edward? Question number 14. From chapter 16, question number 14. There's only two people missing in the room, and they are the ones that stabbed, double B, Edward. Who are these people? There's only two people missing in the room, and these are the people who stabbed Edward. Who are these people?
Question number 15 from chapter uh, 16. Why does Beatrice choose to not say anything to the other Dauntless about Edward? Why does Beatrice choose to not say anything to the other Dauntless about Edward? That's a long one. Because they explain the Dauntless manifesto and what is supposed to be a Dauntless be doing against what they actually do. So again, from chapter 16, question 15. Why does Beatrice choose not to say anything to the other Dauntless about Edward? Okay, guys, these questions are for Friday. Um, so I hope that you complete them. Um, so we are going to stop in there. Next questions are going to be about chapter 17. Okay, bye guys.